We are anonymous. No, I'm just kidding, guys. It's me. And this is my other mask. Which mask do you like better? I'm thinking about wearing the other one uh, <laughs> at the grocery store. That'd be awesome. I'm surprised we haven't seen anybody wearing these, man. With all the hubbub and all the angst and everything. I'm taking this one off, too. I was just wearing them to kind of show some contrast and hopefully make you giggle a little bit. Uh, today's coffee mug is the Starbucks Disney California Adventure Mug. Where I have never been. Okay, we are going to get to reading today. 637 best things anyone has ever said. And this time we're starting with 386. Woody Allen. Another Woody Allen. More than any time in history, humankind faces a crossroads. One path leads to despair and utter hopelessness. The other to total extinction. Let us pray that we have the wisdom to choose correctly. Woo! George Bernard Shaw. I always say Bernard when I, he, I say his name. I'll just keep it that way. 387. It is dangerous to be sincere unless you are also stupid. Hmm. An unnamed 60-year-old junior executive, 388, you can't steal second base and keep one foot on first. In other words, take risks or you won't move. 389, Marshall Brickman. When something good happens, it's a miracle. And you should wonder what God is saving, you, say, is saving up for you later. <laughs> Graffito once said, number 390, Cogito ergo spud. I think, therefore, I yam. I guess that's supposed to be a, uh, a pun, you see. Cog cogito ergo spud. I think, therefore, I sweet potato. Gaelic proverb. I have this one highlighted because I like this one. Uh, 391. If you want an audience, start a fight. That's always true, no matter what time you're in. 392, Michelangelo Antonini. Everything hurts. And he is one of the greatest film directors of all time. Um, one film I must tell you about. This movie that Jack Nicholson was in in 1975 that Antonini directed is called The Passenger. It's a really cool, one of those films that a lot of people don't know about. Jack Nicholson plays a war correspondent who goes to the Middle East somewhere, and he's bored with his life. And when he gets to his, to his hotel room, there's a suitcase on the bed, and it's someone else's, and there's a day planner in there. <clears throat> he decides to throw away his identity and assume this other person's identity and literally keep all the plans and all the appointments in this guy's appointment book. Turns out the guy is a spy. Anyway, it's a really good film, and it's so beautifully shot, you could watch the whole thing with the volume off, and you would still be enthralled. Anyway, we are finishing up for today, and uh, tomorrow's Friday, so uh, we'll have another one, and maybe we'll be um, partying. Maybe it'll be booze instead of coffee. All right, I love all of you, and um, I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.